Good morning, how you guys doing? I know I'm out here earlier than I normally am, but um, basically yesterday they said I needed to get my ass on here, so <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> um, <sighs> for the readings, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The energy is interchangeable. We all have masculine and feminine energies, so if I say he or she, don't take it personally. I don't mean nothing by it. It's just easier for me to speak that way. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yes, when I do the readings, I do them for the highest good and the highest healing of whoever needs to hear the messages the most. So if it does not resonate with you, don't try to force it. Um, like I said, this is for whoever needs the messages the most. And typically, people that I interact with on here more tend to, I pick up their energies more. Um... I don't really know what else to say. Let me just start. <laughs> All right. So, here we have some of you are procrastinating. There's a decision or something that you're not taking action on. And Spirit's saying that now is the time for you to take action. You have to move towards whatever it is that you've been avoiding or haven't been acting on okay because if it's something that you're trying to start your business or if there's some type of goal if it's a relationship whatever it is they want you to know that it will attract success if you take action towards it but if you're not doing anything then you're not going to move anywhere it's not going to progress it's not you're just going to be stuck nothing's going to happen all right they want <coughs> excuse me they want you to trust your intuition, okay? And I know I say that a lot of times on here and people just be like, what the fuck? I don't know how to trust my intuition. How do I know what my intuition is? And typically your intuition is the whisper. The ego is the part of you that is loud, okay? So just try to use that as a guide. <clears throat> but trust what you feel, trust what you're getting, believe the messages that you're seeing, okay? And it looks like some of you may be procrastinating in the healing process, you know, and I know it's probably harder for people that are not used to crying or don't know how to relieve that and be okay with shedding tears. But they're saying that when you cry, it heals your soul, okay? So when you shed the tears, it's just cleansing, you know, it's releasing all of that. Because um, water holds memory. So if you release the tears, it's like the memories, everything's with it is coming out. Okay, so you're crying it out. Don't hold that in because then you're just blocking yourself and making it harder for you to overcome the things that you need to overcome and the blockages that you're setting up for yourself. Now... This procrastination here is showing me that you guys are really, really in your heads about this. So whatever it is, they wouldn't tell me exactly what it is. I asked multiple times, but they're not saying anything. It's something that has to do with the past, something that had to do with either you getting cut off or someone else getting cut off. And now it has someone in a state of stress and fear and they don't want to move forward. Okay, it's something that had to do. They were avoiding a situation. They were avoiding a commitment. They were avoiding a change. Something was being avoided in this. Okay, something that needed to change wasn't being changed. So someone has just been running and avoiding and now divine timing is stepping in. So the universe is stepping in to assist with this because it looks like there is a cycle <clears throat> that is coming to an end you know and it's different for each of us you know we're all on our own journeys we're all on our own paths and we all have different things that we're working through and lessons that we're learning and patterns that we're breaking so whatever this cycle is for you <clears throat> excuse me it could just be a cycle of procrastination and knowing that okay it's time for me to stop procrastinating and get on with my life because it's delaying you from your start it's delaying you from the healing it's delaying you from getting to where you want to be <clears throat> but they're still they're showing once this cycle ends that you're going to be presented with a new beginning so if you're procrastinating because you're afraid of ending or you're not sure how it's going to go or you're not sure if it's going to work out in your favor you have to believe that everything that you want is going to come to you <clears throat> okay because some of you may be having a baby it's a fresh start new family kid 
however that is others of you it's just you healing your inner child and releasing the things that you've been programmed to do your whole life that will allow you to have this fresh start and they're saying that this is something that is happening right now that someone is very um egotistical so if you're the person that's very egotistical and just you're in your head about everything and you're refusing to make a move because someone did something that hurt your feelings or someone said something that you didn't like or spoke to you in some type of way that you feel it's not right. You know, you have to understand the way you perceive things and the way someone else perceives things are two very different things, okay? I don't think like you, you don't think like me. We all see things differently through our own perception and we all receive things by what we feel and what we see, okay? So you could say it to me very directly and simply and I might take it in another manner because of the way I was raised, you know? So you have to see <clears throat> how that resonates for you, okay? Because understand when people speak to you or they say something to you, it's not as an insult, it's not to attack you. It's they're speaking to you to try to help you. They're speaking to you to try to get you to see what the problem is and try to resolve it. But if you always take it as a, an attack instead of a type of constructive criticism, then you're always going to feel like the victim as if something was being done to you. So if this is you at this moment, you know, you have to step outside of your ego because as long as you're operating from your ego space, it's going to be very difficult for you to allow the healing to transpire. Okay, because the ego is trying to keep you separate. So you have to get out of that place. And for some of you, it is the feminine energy that is going through this that needs to release this prideful thing. Now, for other women, it's this, uh, it's vanity. You know, they're more focused on the outside than the inside. And focusing on your overall well being is a great thing. You know, don't get it wrong. But when you feel that all your worth is your beauty or that's all people care about, then that's a problem, you know, because that shouldn't be the surface. This all deteriorates, okay? None of this lasts forever. So that should not be a focus. You need to focus on the inside and healing your heart and healing your soul and your mind so that you can be whole and complete. Okay, they're saying that you're going to need strength because there may be something that's going to come out. It may be some form of, uh, some type of betrayal or some type of secret, something that is coming out in regards to someone giving, and it looks like they may have been giving to another person, <clears throat> you know, and it could just be, maybe it's a financial loss for some of you, others of you, it's a third party situation that someone is giving to you. <clears throat> but understand that you have the strength to get through this, okay? Don't let this get you down because there is truth that is going to come from this situation. So if somebody feels like they have the upper hand above, you know, over you, that's not the case because the truth is going to be revealed in time, okay? And if you've been questioning something or you've been just needing a yes or no answer, they're saying that the answer is yes. You know, whatever it is, whatever question you have, the answer is yes. So if there's something that's really been weighing heavy on you and you just needed a yes or no, that's your yes. And they want you to be very clear on what it is that you want, okay? And they want you to get moving to achieve your goal. So it started with the procrastination and it's ending with the procrastination. You have to start moving in order to achieve what it is that you want to achieve. If you keep saying, I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it the day after or I'll do it when this or when that. Hi, Khalil, how are you? When you're doing these things, you know, you can't keep pushing things off because you're never going to get to where you want to. And it's easier for us to stay in our comfort zone. It's easier for us to stay. I'm just say I'm going to do it later. I'm going to do it later because we're not in the mood. You know, especially if you're in a colder climate, nobody wants to really be outside in freezing ass weather. So just try to do a little bit at a time. Even if you say, you know what, I'm going to do this for 10 minutes today, 10 minutes tomorrow. And you'll be surprised because it may add up over time. You'll be like, oh, well, I'm just going to do it longer because you find you're enjoying it. It's just starting. That is the hard part for most people. Now, the other message here. We have <clears throat> some self-esteem issues. Now, it's important for you to identify whatever it is that's causing you to have this self-esteem issue and release it. Okay? And it could be anything as simple as you getting picked on as a child, your parents picking on you. It could be, oh, I didn't do as well, you know, I failed, 
whatever it is that you feel that you are not worthy of, you have to release these things, okay? You can't compare yourself to other people and understand other people's opinions of you are literally their opinions of you. It does not mean that's what you are, okay? That has what they feel, what they think, that's their shit. You know, be respectful of it. If they want to talk about it, great. But understand that only you control how you feel, <clears throat> okay? And you have to love yourself enough to see what you're worthy of. And they want you to make sure that you are meaning the things that you are saying and what you're doing has meaning to you, okay? So don't just go do shit because somebody wants you to do it. It's do it because you feel it's purposeful. And when you're speaking, speak with intention. Don't speak just to speak. Don't say, yeah, I'm going to be there or yeah, I'll do this. And you really have no intention on following through, okay? It's better to just not say anything. <clears throat> Okay, understand that everything that we say, everything that we do, we do almost on autopilot. You know, a lot of us just operate because this is our day-to-day. -day, it's always the same shit. You have to start living with intention. When you set purpose, you're like, this is what I'm doing today. And you're being deliberate about your thoughts. You're being deliberate about what you're saying and what you're doing. Then you create a more purposeful life because you're living with intention. You're not just allowing life to push you this way and that way. And that usually happens when we respond instead of act okay there's two they're very different when you're responding to somebody's actions now there's some type of i don't know if you have a deadline or somebody else has a deadline whatever it is it's either it's gonna happen soon or the clock's ticking and you need to hurry up and get to what it is that you're meant to do because it looks like some of you may have some uh something coming up where either you're gonna have to cut somebody off or some of you may have been cut off but you're getting messages in your dream that you're getting, you're gaining understanding and you're understanding whatever it is, the pull that you have, you're gaining clarity on it and why it's such a strong feeling. Okay, so they want you to be patient because if you're dealing with another person, they have to go through the awakening and they have to drop the mask that they've been wearing. So that is the purpose for them. They're trying to get through this and they're doing that now. <clears throat> so... And if you're the other individual, understand that being patient is not an easy task. It's something that is very difficult, but it's also important because you can't rush people just because you're ready to be there. You know, it doesn't mean that they are. Everyone needs time to face themselves and believe, you know, that they are worthy and they don't have to pretend to be something or someone else in order to be loved or appreciated, okay? Okay. Because whoever it is that's wearing this mask, they feel a sense of rejection. Something happened in the past that caused them a lot of suffering <clears throat> and it's left their soul fragmented. And it seems like they've been going through the same cycle over and over and over again. And they want you to understand that all of these things that you've been through in your past is serving your purpose, okay? So even if you're not sure what your purpose is, look at what your life experiences have been. Look at the things that you've continually, continuously gone through and see what you've learned from that because that has to do with your purpose. It has to do what you're here for. So maybe you need to share those stories. Maybe you need to help someone else navigate through the pain or whatever it is that they're going through. But understand these cycles that you went through, whatever it was that you lost, it was all to serve what you're going towards now. And it looks like this is coming to a completion. So whatever it is that you have gone through, it's now coming to a close because you may have learned your lessons. You may have broken the pattern that needed to be broken. Or it's something that you will be doing soon. Okay, because they're showing here that it was some form of wish fulfillment. And it's an older man. <clears throat> and I say older, like older than... 25 you know older man and they have darker eyes and dark hair and this is someone that is uh you know they're about their money but it looks like there was something that happened where either when someone may be traveling or someone may be moving away from a situation and it could be a family that's moving away from the king of pentacles you know this person here they're moving away from that individual in order to pursue their wish fulfillment and reunite with someone else Okay, so however this resonates for you, there is wish fulfillment, but for some of you, it is in leaving a situation. 
to reunite with someone else and others of you it's just walking away okay they want you to look for a sign if you're not sure about what's going on speak directly to your guides you know ask them for a sign say can i can you show me this can whatever it is give me this number give me this sign you can be very specific with the sign i mean not down to the fucking it needs to be this exact date type of thing but hey give me a quarter let me find a feather you know show me these numbers whatever it is you know that'll give you the confirmation that you're seeking do that okay because like i said a lot of you need to go leave one situation and go towards another <clears throat> And they want you to trust the feelings that you're getting. And some of you are writers and they want you to start writing and trust the sparks that you're getting, the thoughts, the creative ideas that you have. You have to start acting on them, even if it's just notating them and saving them for another time. You have to take action on those things. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the other one here. There is someone who may have an addiction. Now... And you're having, you're very defensive, okay? So you may be very defensive because people are coming at you and probably want you to quit or they're telling you that it's bad or you're doing something that's not serving you and they're trying to help you, but you're very, very defensive towards these people, you know? And my mother was an alcoholic, so it was hard to communicate with her. It was hard to get through to her and help her to understand the damage she was doing to herself. Tripiando, what's up? How are you? Um, so, you know, I get the defensiveness, but, and if you're in that place of being an addict, you know, it's, there's not shit anybody's going to be able to say to you that's going to make you see or want to do things differently. You know, it's just, it's, it's not. So if you're the person trying to get someone to see, you have to understand that they're only going to change when they are ready to change. If they've already decided that this is their life, this is what they want to do, there ain't shit you're going to do to change it, you have to respect it. And it's painful and it sucks to watch a member deteriorate and waste their fucking lives, you know, but you have to, you know, the best you can do is be loving, be supportive and just provide them as much information as you can. You know, don't come at them aggressively or trying to attack them because that's not going to make the situation better okay no matter how much we want someone to do better we can't force them okay so just try to be open-minded try to listen to them and just you know try to see why they are like that why it is that they feel that they need to escape their life why they need to do these things all right, so please, whoever that is, you know, they want you to sober up. And it doesn't have to necessarily be alcohol. It could be sex. It could be food. It could be whatever the addiction is, you know. But for my personal experience, I had to deal with an alcoholic. So that was something that's very difficult. And understand, whoever this is, you are a beautiful person. So if you are the person that's struggling with addictions, understand we all fall off the fucking wagon. We all backtrack. We all make mistakes. Don't feel like you can't redeem yourself none of us are beyond redemption we've all done shit that we are not proud of okay i know i've said this before but i'm probably certain i've broken every single commandment there is to break you know and that's not because oh, i'm proud of it it's just you can be redeemed from what you've done you know you learn from your lessons you help others you know through the lessons that you learn so please be sure that you know just try to see things differently and someone Again, if, the, if someone is does have an addiction or some type of problem, they're very, uh, they cause a lot of problems. They cause a lot of chaos. They enjoy the drama. Like, they get a rush out of it. Okay? Now, this could be someone you love, however this is, but there is something here that is going to be changing soon because it looks like someone is going after. They're looking for their tribe. You know, and when I say tribe, I say soul tribe. I say the people that you are meant to be with on this journey, the people that have your similar values that are going towards the same thing and the same form of enlightenment that you are, okay? But there is someone that really loves drama, okay? So that needs to be changed because as long as you're causing this chaos and you're always stirring stuff up, you're always going to have that type of energy within you. Now, someone may be moving away from a karmic partner, okay? And 
I have karmic partner and third party. So whoever this is, it could have been someone that left you for a third party. And it is a karmic partner, but it was something that they were meant to learn something out of. And maybe this karmic partner had all these dreams with this person. And, oh, all these things are going to happen. And it didn't pan out that way because spirit's saying no. So if you've been wondering if this is the person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Or this is the person that you should be investing all of your energy into. Whoever it is that you're with now, it's it's a karmic. It's not your person for forever. Okay, this is something that is, it says you have free will. So you could stay, you can do whatever. But someone had a lot of dreams with this third party. Okay, and spirit saying that no. So if you have plans or whatever, basically spirit's letting you know now that the shit's not going to work out the way you want it to. But you have the choice to stay there or move on. All right. You need to take care of yourself. You need to put yourself first. Okay. And when you're more focused on everything else that's happening, it's easy for us to forget about ourselves because we get so caught up. Oh, I need to get this and I need to do that. I got to fix this. I got to fix that. Take a time out. You know, doing nothing is just as valid as being busy all day. All right. You have to take care of yourself. Because in, when you start taking care of yourself, then your wish fulfillment is going to come in because you're showing the universe that you are important and you matter and you want to be taken care of in a certain way. But in order to get to your wish fulfillment, there is going to be some form of a tower moment. Some truth is going to come out and it may be in regards to the third party or the karmic partner that they're with or vice versa, however it is. But there is going to be some truth that's going to be expressed that's going to... You know, it could just be unexpected. Somebody might tell you that they have feelings for you or that they want to be with you. It could be something you don't want to hear about a third party. It could be a, whatever it is, you know, it could be anything. But there is something that is you're not expecting it. And it's going to cause like either an internal tower or an external tower, depending on what it is that's going to be said. Now, <clears throat> it's showing like there's some type of indecision or a stalemate, like something that's not a nobody's making any moves and they're showing me the queen of cups here <clears throat> so this is someone who is emotional and when i see the four of pentacles for me it always means work but for others of you you know it's um it's someone that's just holding on that doesn't want to let go of something now whatever it is that you're holding on to it could just be the queen of cups that someone is holding on to and they don't want to let go or it's the queen of cups that's holding on and it's kind of juggling and trying to figure out which way to go because someone is still crying over losses someone is still looking at what they've lost and not seeing what they still have you know available to them so however this is resonating <clears throat> you know whatever truth is coming out just try to be open-minded and try not to hold on so tightly that you're not allowing spirit to work through whatever it is because if you're not allowing spirit to work then you're not going to get what you need because you're so dead set and you're still holding on to something else. All right. And if you're juggling, I don't recommend it just because it's stressful. It's a lot of fucking work. It's just, just no point in it. There's enough shit in the world with only two people in the situation. You add more, it gets crazier. But they want you to stop focusing on the losses because you have an opportunity before you. They want you to accept whatever has happened instead of trying to fight what to change it. You know, and I know for some of you that's a hard thing because it really depends on what your situation is you know if you have a toxic situation and you're trying to fight it if like i said if you're dealing with someone that has an addiction and you're trying to change that you can't change that you have to just accept it for what it is you know and cut your losses you know and i don't mean it in a i don't want to sound like a bitch but you have to remove yourself from toxic situations from toxic people it doesn't mean that you don't, you stop loving them. It doesn't mean that you can you have to never talk to them again. It means you have to create boundaries for yourself to take care of yourself and you know love yourself. Show that okay, I'm not going to tolerate this because that is your choice and this is my choice. You know, we choose what we're going to allow in our lives and if we stay in there, then that is our choice. You know, we can't force somebody else to change, but we can choose if we're going to be there. So just be careful with what it is that you're doing, okay? And just allow things to be because 
there is an opportunity that is being presented or will be presented soon for you, okay? And there is going to be a change, and some of you may be moving. Now, this is going to be the last message here. <clears throat> Stress does not serve any purpose other than driving you fucking crazy in your life. Okay? So understand, when you're stressed out, ask yourself, why are you stressed? Can you change the situation? If you cannot change the situation, then why are you wasting your energy? And if you can change the situation, still, why are you stressed? Because now you can take action to change it. So stress is just an emotion that nobody really needs to be feeling, okay? Just try to center yourself, meditate, take a walk, whatever it is to get you back into a place of center, you know, do that, okay? But the stress is not necessary. And some of you um, paint. So if that's your form of release, you know, go back and do that. If you haven't painted in a while, then paint. If it's drawing, music, whatever it is for you, whatever you like to create, go back to do that to help you relieve the stress that you're under right now, okay? And they want you to call on spirit. If you feel like this is too much, you can't handle it, too much is going on, call on spirit because they will they will help you through whatever it is you're going on because it looks like some of you aren't taking action you're not really doing much and it feels like you're being um you're bound like you're being held down but spirit showing that um archangel michael is protecting you okay they're protecting you from any harm and it looks like there might be some type of financial situation either child support alimony something that has to do with finances that the angels are protecting you from okay so whatever is going on right now just understand you are protected so don't feel so weighed down just <clears throat> release the energy into something more productive and work on your self-worth issues whoever it is that keeps on stalking and watching and not saying anything they have a lot of self-worth issues and it's something that needs to come into healing all right understand that if you're just going to observe life and not participate in it, how do you expect to be fulfilled? How do you expect things to change if you're not speaking? You know, you have to see the value within yourself. You have to love yourself enough to want to change things in your life and get out of these situations. Okay, because once you start healing and you release these things, that's when you're going to be able to transcend. All right. And it looks like someone may be holding on to a lot of regret and so much so that they're just repressing it. They have it just so pushed down that they're not expressing it. They're not doing anything. And understand that when you, these are like seeds, okay? When you plant something, that's how it grows. If you're planting something negative and toxic and you're feeding that, that's what's going to continue to grow is more negativity and more toxicity as opposed to if you plant something out of love and something positive then that's what you're nurturing and that's what you're growing so you have to see what it is that you're holding on to because if you're allowing this regret and re all of the shit that you're repressing right now to continue to grow and grow and grow and it's just inside you're going to explode and you might explode on the wrong person so please you have to release these things in order to transcend to where you're meant to go okay um make sure you're working on your chakras you know align your chakras clear them balance them because when we're off balance then everything else is harder for us to attain now the spirits are with you your ancestors are trying to guide you in what you hey Brittany, how are you oh tripiando i'm sorry are you over uh covid or no <clears throat> um so your ancestors are there with you, okay? And they're trying to guide you and they want you to plant the seeds that you want to see, okay? So if you want a happy love, then that's what you need to focus on and you have to let go of the toxicity because it looks like someone's coming in with an offer, but they don't have a lot of confidence, okay? So it's a love offer that's coming in and it's coming in to someone that is very, um, they're, they seem to be well off, okay? And they don't really need anyone. They're very independent. So whoever this is, that's where the offer is coming into. And maybe they feel a little bit of, uh, they don't feel like they have the self-worth because maybe they don't have as much as the person they want to come in towards. So they just want to watch. Or they had an opportunity with this individual and they did something 
to force it to end or make it go away. However, this is, you know, there is, this is here, okay? And there's someone that, <sighs> there's so many people. Okay, so there's an offer that's coming in from someone that's needing more confidence and then we have the person that is very stable and independent and then there's someone else that is very ambitious and outspoken that they may be going towards however it is they're showing that you have multiple options <laughs> okay i'm sorry if it sounds all over the but there's just a fucking there's mad people here i don't know so whoever it is that you're going towards make sure that you are planting the right seeds make sure that you're not staying or going back to someone because that was something that was comfortable make sure that you're moving forward into something that is going to nurture your soul that is going to help you grow and that you guys can grow together okay because they're showing that you have like i said you have options and you have to look beyond whatever's being presented to you okay just because someone might present themselves as loving and understanding it doesn't make it so you know i always tell my kids get to, give at least six months get to know people and then after the six months, then you can decide if you want to have a relationship, you know, don't hop into a relationship because in six months is enough time to know if somebody's really who the fuck they showed you they were or if they're full of shit, you know, but once you get that clarity, you're going to come if they're giving me the ten of pentacles. So there's going to be the happy home life. There's going to be the wish fulfillment. You're going to have everything that you want. Okay. And you're going to be stable. But you have to make the decision because it literally the way it looks is you have one person here, one person here. It's like this person's after you and you're after this person. And it's a fucking crazy. <laughs> it just looks crazy here. But that's how it looks here. Um, so just be sure of what you're doing, you know, and whoever it is that's regretting that they didn't make the decision or they made the bad decision. You can always change course, okay? You just have to be confident enough to speak your truth because they're saying some, this is going to be happening soon. And they want yourself they want you to allow yourself to be noticed okay so stop hiding in the shadows if you're the person that's been stalking stop hiding okay and if you're scared you know everybody's scared just spit it out because once the words have left your mouth there's nothing else that's, that can happen it's just what are you going to do after that so please just allow yourself to be seen by whoever this is and say what you need to say because all the regret and repression is going to do is keep everything inside and it's going to drive you crazy and you're not going to heal or release or move forward in your life. Okay, you have to let the stuff go. Well, I'm glad you're better and shit, I wish I could go to PR. <laughs> Man, I don't know, Tripiando, your shit is real... Uh... I don't know. Your situation is something else and I couldn't do it. I really couldn't. I don't know how you have the patience for that, but I commend you, you know, and I'll send you light and love and some prayers and hope that things clear up for you. Um, but those are your messages today. I hope they resonate with you. I hope you get some clarity out of it. You know, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys and I hope you have an awesome day.